r slash legal advice. Melon15 says. Ex-husband begging me to not have child support set through the state. So my ex-husband and I split about a month after our child was born, which was three years ago. At first he'd send me $200 a month, but then he got mad at me one day and said he wasn't giving me any more money. We had already started the divorce process and custody battle by then, and I warned him he'd get it with a large sum of backdated child support whenever it was set. He ignored me. Here we are after 3 years and child support has finally been set. Has been ordered to give me $763 a month, and they showed how they were tallying up all the previous months to December 2020. He owes me $15k in support. The simplest and most generous on my end, option on my end, is for him to start paying the $763 a month, then just give me his tax returns until he gets the $15k paid off. That way he isn't having to scrape up money he doesn't have to pay it back. At first he agreed. He called me yesterday and said we needed to work something out on child support. He essentially was trying to get me to agree to not have it set up through the state and was trying to prattle off a bunch of numbers and said feed tack on a percentage of what he owes every month and he won't be able to pay his bills and he could go to jail then he won't be able to work as a cop anymore. Him trying to be understanding of the situation, but he lives in a two-income household, whereas I've been raising our son by myself on a teacher's salary for his whole life. My ex-husband only sees our son four days a month, if that much. He isn't very present in our son's life. Then he started telling me our attorneys have been talking with each other about it, and I feel like this is a lie. My attorney would have told me if he was having communication with his attorney. It was my understanding that I could have it set up through the state, how I told him I wanted it. I know if I don't get it set through the state I won't see any support for him bc hell make excuses every month as to why he can't pay. Is he telling the truth, or can I tell the state how we want the backdated support to be paid back? Cypher underscore blue says. That's a question for your lawyer, for the best answer. However, before you make any decisions, let me direct your attention to this part. At first he'd send me $200 a month, but then he got mad at me one day and said he wasn't giving me any more money. When left to do it on his own, he didn't. So now someone needs to make sure he does it, and that person is the state. If you try to be nice now, you'll just have to go back and do the whole process again later, when he doesn't pay. Tok 552 says. This, I'm not a lawyer, but I can smell the BS strong on this one. He's trying to take advantage of you. Just consult your lawyer. Expert in per says. He's just trying to play you. He's been unreliable with support in the past, why would you think he would be more reliable now, if the state isn't looking over his shoulder? Rather Bahama 6 says. Don't have these conversations with him, anymore. Tell him to speak only to your lawyer. He's obviously trying to manipulate you, and you seem susceptible to it by even entertaining the topic. Why would your lawyers be talking without your knowledge or consent? Your lawyer is your advocate and advisor. Tell your lawyer everything he's telling you, and listen to your lawyer when they instruct you on the appropriate action. Don't let your ex sabotage your progress. Scruffigan says. You have worked out something on child support. It's $763 emma which is in your court order. If the court saw a need to garnish his wages and other to ensure you get paid. That does seem reasonable given his history of non-payment and is a payment strategy he's earned. If he had a leg to stand on to dispute this, his lawyer would have tried it. You don't need to make it easier for him if you don't want to. You're not the problem here, and if he's living outside his means he can find a way to trim his budget elsewhere. Cops make comfortable salaries. Please don't let your ex continue to shortchange your and his son. Redirect your ex's pleas to his lawyer to talk to yours. Axio underscore Margarita says. 
I would recommend also including an agreement to only communicate with each other via messages in a parenting app. App Close is one example. He will not be able to harass, guilt or manipulate you anymore. The messages in these apps are able to be used in court as they cannot be edited or deleted. My best piece of advice is to stop communicating via phone calls with a manipulative person who you say is probably lying to you. You do not need to communicate about anything other than the health and well-being of your child. R slash legal advice. Kate 1073 says. Breeder sold me a snake with rabies, or slash why you sir, can I sue? I think I would be going through small claims court, but if that's the wrong flair I'm sorry. Thanks in advance. I'm from Coos County or. I traveled to get a snake at a reptile expo in Multnomah County, or in April 2023 from a breeder from King County Wa. Recently I got a little concerned about his health and had a boy panel ran, basically testing for all the common illnesses in boas, and he came back positive for IBD aeronavirus, which sort of like the snake version of rabies. It's contagious to other snakes, incurable, and fatal. So now I'm probably going to have to get that snake euthanized, and test my 9 other snakes. This is all going to add up to more than I can afford. I'm trying to get in contact with the breeder to get a refund for the snake, but I haven't got a response yet. I paid in cash, so I can't dispute the cost, but have a receipt. If he doesn't get back to me, or refuses, can I sue him? Could I also sue for the costs that are a direct consequence of being sold a sick snake? Here's the breakdown of the costs, already paid. Snake $300 backslash, already paid, bet appointment $200 backslash already paid, boy panel test, $60 plus $65 required overnight. Shipping backslash, euthanasia of 6 snake $650, this is what it cost me to get a different snake euthanized for cancer, but I'm pretty sure it's the same regardless, backslash the costs of the things I bought for him, that I will now have to throw away, backslash $100, IBD Aeronavirus tests for the rest of my snakes. 259 equals $225 plus $100 required overnight shipping, bigger package than a single test, backslash, likely additional rounds of testing for clarity slash after last possible viral incubation window, $225 plus. $100 required overnight shipping backslash, euthanasia of any other infected snakes. 650 TBD equals. Backslash, emotional damages? I'm typing this post out, after I had a panic attack about the test results, and it will definitely get worse, if any of my other snakes are sick total cost backslash, 2, 0, 25 possibly more. That's almost more than I make in a month and it would empty my savings. I'm very scared and angry and don't feel like I should be the one paying for his mistake. More info, backslash there was no way for me to have tested the snake before I got it. The test requires a mouth swab to be shipped overnight to a specialized laboratory in another state. Backslash, IBD Aeronavirus can be asymptomatic in boas for their entire life, but will kill pythons within months, I have pythons. IBD is known to be a problem for boa breeders, and that means the rest of his snakes probably also have it, and he's either been irresponsible by not testing for it, or knew and sold me a sick snake. I'm not sure which, and I'm also not sure at that. Chromium D upside says. Is testing to this specific virus before sale the Norman snake sales? Were you given any health guarantee? I believe Oregon's pet lemon law only applies to dogs and only pet retailers not private breeders, however my info may be outdated. This isn't really a situation where emotional damages would be recoverable, assuming you could show costs like therapy, etc. The major issue with many of your other potential damages is the concept in civil law that we must mitigate our losses. It's expected in proper husbandry to isolate any new animal for a quarantine period before any potential contact or cross-contamination can occur with equipment, housing, supplies to the pets you already have. 
I'm sorry such a serious illness has been introduced to your home, and that you have a seriously ill new scaly buddy that will need to cross the rainbow bridge so soon. You can, when you know your total costs, sue the seller in small claims. Be prepared to be questioned on your quarantine measures. Life Happens Every Month says. Do you have a contract guaranteeing the snake's health? That would be the place to start. Emperor Ortad says. Sorry for your troubles. I'm not a snake fan, but why does it cost $650 to euthanize a snake? That seems outrageous, I've had to put other animals down, and it was just a little over $100. Mutant59 says. Um excuse me, but snakes are reptiles. Reptiles don't get rabies. R slash legal advice. Propermatch says. Hearing a rumor that I would be fired to keep an employee from putting in there two weeks. I work in the FOD department for a large corporation. We have a chat that the company uses that has everyone in the front of house for our specific location. Bartenders, servers, buses, or managers, etc. that we use to communicate. I recently used this chat to send a polite message to everyone in my department to communicate more with each other before leaving our stations, in this case the bar. It happened right after this person, well called a mess, left the bar without saying anything while there were drink tickets that needed to be completed and guests at the bar that I was uninformed about. S immediately responds back in a hostile way, telling me to at them next time and other things. I responded to S telling them that the message wasn't solely about them, it's been happening a lot with other people as well. This was a little over a week ago. I'm now hearing rumors that S put in their two weeks notice and that our GM asked her that if they fired me would she stay. This GM is new, maybe 4 or 5 months with the company, and we've never had anything but positive interactions. This is obviously concerning to me, because I love my job. What is my course of action here? Just wait and do nothing? Go to the GM, and ask them straight up, if this is what happened? Any advice would be great. Edit to add, that S has been with the company for maybe 3 months, I've been with the company for over a year. I'm never late, I'm well liked, I think, by my coworkers and we have a point system, that is used to determine how we are reprimanded, being late is half a point, call out is 1 point, etc. I have 0 points. Thought this might give a little more context. Another edit, to add this is in Los Angeles. Accomplished underscore emu underscore 658 says. I would start looking for a job. Even if they don't fire you this time you clearly are not valued. Honor a litigator says. I'm well liked, I think, by my cowork as well, apparently not. People don't like being shamed with passive aggressive public ML saying some people have been leaving their stations without communicating, etc. Are you S's boss, or are you just the workplace's self-appointed hall monitor? If new employees are going to the GM, and saying fire proper match, or I quit, and the GM is considering that, then it sounds like you're not well liked by co-workers or the GM, notwithstanding your exemplary attendance. Team Stark 31 says. There's nothing to advise since nothing happened, and you've only heard rumors. Black Sedaluch says. You didn't say what country, state, city, village, or anything else relevant enough for us to answer your question. If at will employment exists where you live, the odds are against you. Nothing you've stated here is illegal where I live, and that's all I have to base it on. In the majority of the northwestern hemisphere you'd be out of luck. New Odenard says. You don't know who is spreading that rumor. I would speak directly to the GM, and let them know. Because even if they did say that, it is unprofessional of them, and of the bartender for then spreading that around. Bartender sounds petty and immature enough though to spread the rumor all on their own, and not ever have had that exact convo with the grams. If you are management, you should be direct with the grams. Do so in writing.
or with a witness, like ours, etc. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.